Hi, I'm Stephanie Ayers. I'm a teacher of fifth grade math and science. And today I'm going to teach you a little bit about partial products for teachvid.com. So we're gonna start right here. I'm gonna show you a few different things that we're going to be talking about. When we look at partial product, we're looking at part of the product being uh, found at a time. And so we're going to start by using expanded forms uh, to help us figure this out. So we're going to start by looking at the 427. And remember, this is 400, 2, 10, and 7, 1. So we can write it like this. 400 plus 20 plus 7. The 24, we can look at that and say that's two tens and write 20 plus four ones and write a four. Now this is where we use something called distributed property, where I can say the four gets multiplied times the seven, times the 20, and times the 400. And the same will happen with the 20. And it looks like this. We'll say four times seven. Four times the 20. Four times the 400. Now this is something that you and I would do if we were actually doing the long multiplication. I would say the four times the seven, four times the two, which is really two tens, which is 20, and four times the four, which is really 400. So we're doing it just part at a time. So let's go ahead and write these out. Four times seven is 28. Four times two is eight, add a zero, that's 80. Four times four is 16 with two zeros is 1,600. Now we're ready for the 20. The two, which is in the tens place, is a 20. So I say 20 times seven. 20 times 20. And then once more, 20 times the 400. In the same way that we would say two times seven, two times two and two times four to get ours. So let's go ahead and write those out. Uh, two times seven is 14, put a zero at the end, you get 140. Two times two is four with two zeros, you get 400. Two times four is eight with one, two, three zeros, 8,000. And when we add up all of our partial products, we're going to find the total product. So we'll say eight, 14, six and four is 10, 11, 12. And so our total product is 10,248. So now you've seen uh, how to do the par partial product um, strategy for multiplication. Is it the fastest way? No. But is it a way that could be used by your child to help them get the right answer? Absolutely. Ooh.